look at this filter lens on, we're gonna gasify it. Okay, what's it gonna be? <gasps> Quaker. <laughs> Wait, this is perfect. Okay, this is really funny because I just saw this tweet of RuPaul as the Quaker guy. So I'm gonna pick up a darker shade from his face and then using the airbrush soft brush tool, I'm just gonna add in the areas that should be contoured. I masked out the eyebrows so we can draw them much higher. Okay, now I'm gonna add on some winged eyeliner. Now I wanna add like a teal-ish eyeshadow. Okay, I'm loving how this looks. Now we need to add on some highlight and a little bit of blush. And then we need to add on an overdrawn lip. <laughs> Now I want to add on hoop earrings. And last, I think it'd be fun to add on a bunch of like hanging diamonds, kind of like a Beyonce hat. So I'll finish that all up and here's the final result. I think she absolutely slayed this one. <laughs> she turned out so adorable and it honestly looks very realistic. I'm proud of my drawing on this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logo this filter lands on, I am going to yassify it. Okay, what's it going to be? Mr. Clean. Okay, I'm thinking Miss Clean. So first and foremost, I need to get rid of this R and replace it with an S. Now I'm gonna use the airbrush tool for this and down the opacity just a bit. And I'm gonna add on some pink lips. Now I'm gonna pick up this color here and add on some extra contour and even more highlights all up here. And I'm gonna give him a big wing. Okay, this is what we're working with. Now I need to add on some big hoop earrings on both sides and finally i want to give him some acrylic nails on each finger that match the lips and here is the final result this one came out so much funnier than i thought it would let me know what you think about it in the comments whatever logo this filter lands on i'm gonna yassify it okay what are we gonna get Monopoly. Okay, this is gonna be a fun one. Let's go. Okay, after looking at him, we definitely have to make this giant mustache be a giant pair of red lips. Then I'm also gonna add on some acrylics, eyelashes, eyeshadow, the whole nine. Let's get started with those lips. So I'm just gonna make them come down just a bit like this. And then if I pick up the red here, yes, that's working perfectly. I think she also needs to be a little more voluptuous. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add on some nose contour as well as some on the cheeks. I need to add on some <laughs> winged eyeliner and of course throw in a ton of false lashes. Now lastly, I just need to add on some acrylic nails to each of the fingers and here's the final result. I think making the mustache be giant lips was just icing on the cake for this one. It turned out so cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logo this lands on, we're gonna gasify it. Okay, what's it gonna be? Android. Okay, wait, this is perfect. Let's go. So I'm thinking what we need to do is change the shape because she's a little too boxy right now. And then I wanna make this line, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the mouth or not, but I wanna make that look like big lips. Okay, so the first step is to work on the body yaddy yaddy. So I want it to be more of like an hourglass shape. So something like that. And then when I fill it in, Perfect. Okay, I've got that drawn on both sides. Now I'm gonna make this middle part be two big sets of lips. Now I wanna add in a line where her nose contour would be as well as the cheeks. And last up, I wanna add on a ton of lashes as if she's wearing falsies. And here's the final result. She is a little simple, but I think gets right to the point. It's definitely a more yassified version of her, and I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Today I'm gonna be yassifying famous logos. Up first we have Starbucks, and she kind of already has the yassified hair, but I started off by erasing her eyebrows and giving the signature lifted eyebrows, and then I also did the same thing with her eyes, just giving them a little bit of lift. I gave her some lips and added some highlights to look like gloss, carved out the cheekbones, the nose, and finally gave her some boobs, and here's the final result. <laughs> she looks kind of scary. Up next we have Pringles, and at first I started by doing the eyes and giving him lashes, and then I decided that the mustache looked like a pair of giant lips, so I went with that direction. I added some gloss on there and changed the eyebrows, and here's the final result. This one is my absolute favorite, and I think she's so cute. <laughs> Up next we have Wendy's, and this one was kind of simple. I changed the eyebrows, I added in a bunch of 
contouring and highlights on her face, changed the eye shape, and finally gave her a bunch of hair, and here's the final result. It's giving me Annabelle vibes. Lastly, we have KFC, and for Colonel Sanders, I knew I couldn't take away the goatee, but I started by making his eyes lifted, adding in some eyebrows, I gave him some lip gloss, and then it wasn't looking quite right, so I added a bunch of hair to him, and here's the final result. It's giving bearded drag queen. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. Today, I'm gonna be yassifying famous logos. Up first is the Jolly Green Giant. So for her, my idea was really just to kind of do all of this in those green tones, because everything in the logo is basically a tone of green, except for the white highlights. And here's the final result. Up next is the Michelin Man, or the Michelin Woman in this case. I was trying to give her a nose, but it wasn't looking as good as I wanted it to so I gave her some lips. I did change up the cleavage area just a little bit because I thought it looked a little odd having just a bar right there. Last minute I gave her this high pony. I really like how it came out but it's definitely giving a little Ariana vibes. Up next is the Kool-Aid man. Pretty much the same thing and then added in acrylics to his toes. I think overall it definitely adds to the bad bitch aesthetic. And last is the Pillsbury Doughboy. Again, I just added in the same things. I also used this warp tool to give him this tiny little waist and here's that one all complete. I really like the Jolly Green Giant. It's definitely giving Jamie Lee Curtis vibes. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. Today I'm gonna be yassifying famous logos. Up first is the Jolly Green Giant. So for her, my idea was really just to kind of do all of this in those green tones because everything in the logo is basically a tone of green except for the white highlights. And here's the final result. Up next is the Michelin Man, or the Michelin Woman in this case. I was trying to give her a nose, but it wasn't looking as good as I wanted it to, so I gave her some lips. I did change up the cleavage area just a little bit because I thought it looked a little odd having just a bar right there. Last minute, I gave her this high pony. I really like how it came out, but it's definitely giving a little Ariana vibes. Up next is the Kool-Aid Man, pretty much the same thing, and then added in acrylics to his toes. I think overall, it definitely adds to the bad bitch aesthetic. And last is the Pillsbury Doughboy. Again, I just added in the same things. I also used this warp tool to give him this tiny little waist, and here's that one all complete. I really like the Jolly Green Giant. It's definitely giving Jamie Lee Curtis vibes. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. Whatever cartoon character this lands on, I'm gonna give it a yassified redesign. Okay, what are we gonna get? The Grinch! Okay, just in time for Christmas, let's go. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need to add some acrylic nails to the fingertips, and then I'm thinking huge lips that we can paint on right there. Maybe add some big eyebrows, but he's already kind of yassified, right? All right, first let's add on those huge <laughs> lips. And I want to add on a ton of eyelashes, almost as if she're wearing falsies. Let's add some highlighter to the nose too. And let's add on a huge pointed brow. Okay, the face is done. I love how she's looking so far. Now we just need to add on some acrylic nails to each of the fingertips. Add on red to each of them. And here is the final result. This turned out so much funnier than I ever could have thought, but it's also really cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.